Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel, CeeLo Rips. Um, today we're going to be doing retail packs. These are much different than the hobby packs, but we'll get into that here in a little bit. But just to kind of give you an idea, we've got the retail playbook mega box and we've got the retail playbook hanger. We've got a couple of different boxes to go through today. Um, and hopefully, you know, hopefully we'll get some good pulls. You never know. We'll see what happens. Uh, just to give an example of what you can pull out of these boxes. Uh, yesterday we did an off-camera opening. We got a uh, Tua card. Next up, this is not the better of his uh, rookie cards, but it still is a Tua. We'll see how he does this in upcoming year. Hopefully Fitzpatrick doesn't take over again. And then we also have this A.J. Dillon rookie card. It's a patch card um, on his patch card. This is not a numbered version, but it is still is a, uh, a patch card for A.J. Dillon. He did really well this past year on the backfield for the Green Bay Packers. So we'll see how it'll end up. But these are two examples of what you can pull from these playbook boxes. One thing I want to mention, uh, always want to have these handy. These are top loaders. Uh, these are for your thinner cards. If you get a patch card, you're going to need a thicker top loader. Uh, go to your local hobby shop. Uh, pick these up. They're relatively inexpensive, but uh, protecting your cards is much more valuable. And also, we also put a sleeve on our card. It's a protective plastic sleeve around the card to make sure it doesn't, you know, you don't get smudges on or bend the card or do anything to the card. Uh, we highly recommend that you do this because if you're going to PSA your card, they do actually look at the card for smudges and all that types of things to grade your card. Megan's going to do a little bit of an explanation on the state of trading cards when it comes to playbook. So not sure about you guys. I know here in Virginia, that's where we're at. It has been, it's been crazy. You can't exactly find the retail boxes in a lot of places, or if you find them, it's extremely limited stock. Um, I've seen a lot of people out there even heckling the stalkers, which please don't do that. It's it's not cool. They're doing the best they can and they're given limited inventory to go through all the Walmarts and all the Targets and they're doing the best they can. With these specific ones, we just happened to get really lucky. Um, landed on a day that they had just restocked at Target um, I do want to make sure that you know there's a lot of people out there on like OfferUp, Macari, even Facebook uh, that's selling these. Don't overpay. If, if you want to overpay, it's your money. We're not trying to tell you what to do. These mega boxes though at Target are only $44 here in Virginia. They might be a little bit different where you're at. I don't know, so I can't speak for the brand. But $44 for the mega boxes. The hangers were I think $11.98 some weird number, basically $12. You never know. You can pull some really great cards out of these. Because they're retail, you're not going to get the same kind of hits that you would get from a hobby box. You get a lot better hits from hobby boxes. I, I think pretty much everybody knows that. But, you know, we've gotten some great hits from these too. So we'll see what we get today, I guess. So without further ado, we're going to open up the hanger box first. It's the... Uh, not as exciting as the mega boxes. Uh, on the back of these boxes, I'm gonna get and rip this off real quick. It tells you basically what your chances are in each box to get hits out of these uh, particular boxes. So let's get and uh, rip this box open. Okay. Now, the packaging is just fantastic on these hangers. <laughs> You basically get a huge box with a little pack of cards on it. Um, also, when you open up these, make sure that you're really careful not to bend the corners. Uh, you never know when you uh, might get a valuable card in there, a signed card, next up card, patch card. So you want to make sure that you don't bend the corners by pulling it open nice and slow. No rush. And here we go. A Tariq Cohen, Chicago Bears. Marlon Mack, Indianapolis Colts. Matt Ryan, 
Atlanta Falcons. DK Metcalf, Seattle Seahawks. Carson Wentz, right now an Eagle. Who knows what will be not tomorrow. <laughs> D.D. Westbrook, Jaguars. Adam Thielen, the Vikings. Austin Hooper, we got some cool cars back there. Um, he's also on the Browns. Kyler Murray, of course Kyler Murray from the Cardinals. Devin Singletary, one of the many running backs in my favorite team, the Buffalo Bills. Derek Carr, possibly still going to be on the road. We'll see. We got a Rokon Smith uh, from the Chicago Bears. Randall Cobb, Texans. May not be on the Texans much longer. We'll see. Justin Tucker. Um, had a very terrible uh, pro season, but he's still one of the best kickers. Curtis Samuel uh, from the Panthers. Cooper Cup. We have a card behind there. Cooper Cup from the LA Rams. And we got a next up. J.K. Dobbins from the Baltimore Ravens. So put him to the side. We have a captain's Carson Wentz. He's on the Eagles on this card. We'll see where he is next year. We have a no another next up card. Lynn Bowden Jr., and he's on the Raiders. We have a Blitz card. Uh, DJ Clark Jr. He's on the, I believe the Jaguars. Then we have La Michael Perrine from the Jets rookie card. James, don't even want to try to say his last name. He's on the Baltimore Ravens rookie card. We have an AJ. Espenza from the Buffalo Bills rookie card. Jacob Eason might be the starting quarterback for the Indianapolis Colts rookie card. We have a Darrington Evans from the Titans rookie card. Okay, these right here, Megan will explain to you what type of cards they are. So these, in every box that you have on the back, it tells you kind of what you're looking for. I'll use the Mega for example. It says... Sorry, it will say like base gold, rookie orange, rookie signatures, next up, so on and so forth. So what you're really looking for in these specific ones is this coloration right here. So this is going to be um, like an orange parallel. So if you're looking online and you're trying to figure out what your card is worth, you'd want to type in orange parallel to get some pricing on it. And like she said, always use the back of the box as a way to look it up. There's been many a times we looked up cars, thought thinking it was one thing, and it was something totally different. And then you get excited to find out it's not even the same thing. So it's Ryan Kerrigan from the Washington football team. And Jack Doyle from the Annapolis Colts. And then we have a Jonathan Taylor rookie card. He's a up-and-coming running back from the Annapolis Colts. Then we have uh, Cesar Ruiz. Uh, rookie card and then we have a Cole net card from the Chicago Bears so yeah. definitely some good cards I mean I think the biggest thing is it, it, it's it they're not hobby this is absolutely a retail it, it's absolutely an $11.98 box but you've got some great up-and-coming players that could possibly go somewhere and you got to think some of these cards that were worth a ton now they started somewhere and this is probably how they started so just think if you bought a tom brady if you got a tom brady in 2000 what you'd be holding right now in your hand so here's our first mega box open now i think these have a better average though of something cool on them yeah they do they have um and actually if you're going to open these i would just recommend rather than go through the top go right through the bottom and these are individually packed cards. So on this particular box, you get five cards per pack, four packs. So you definitely have a better hit chance on these mega boxes. So without further ado, let's start with these. And, and to add to that, you can find one autograph or one memorabilia card per box on average. It's not a guarantee, but their averages typically are pretty good. I, I don't think we've ever been disappointed. OK, 
Okay. Blake Martinez from the... It says the Giants, but he has a green Bay uniform wrong. I think you would hope it was an error card, but he probably got traded midseason or picked up. Denton Jones from the Cardinal. I'm sorry, from the uh, Falcons. Then you got your Orange Paolo, Malcolm Perry rookie card. Then you have Jacob Eason again, rookie card. And then you have a Darrington Evans rookie card. Nick Chubb from the Browns. Oh, we'll go ahead and flip that over. That's one of the cards you want to look for. So we have a zoning commission, Alexander Mattinson from the Vikings. Then we have the Isaiah Coulter from the Texans rookie card. Then we have a Kenneth Murray rookie card from the Chargers. And we have a Hunter Henry Chargers patch card. These are one of the cards you can get in these bigger boxes, in the mega boxes. So these are the ones you look out for. What we're really looking for is the autos. Uh, those are the or a Tua or a Burrow or you're looking for one of the bigger rookies from uh, 2020. Like a Herbert. We got a Taysom Hill from the Saints. You have a Geno Atkins from the Bengals. There's an orange parallel. Leighton Vander Esch. I'm not, I'm not sure he's going to play this year or uh, he had a pretty nasty injury to his neck. We'll see. You have a CD Lamb. Uh, there's your good hit for a rookie card. It's just a base card, but great things are going to happen with CD Lamb. And then we have a Joe Reed rookie card from the Chargers. And our final pack from the first Mega Box. Kyle Van Noy from the Dolphins. Another Kyle Murray from the Cardinals. And we got a Blitz card. Sony Michelle from the New England Patriots. Then you have a Denzel Mims rookie card from the Jets. They might be good this year. I doubt it, but why not, right? And then we have a John Hightower the fourth rookie card from the Eagles. And that's our first pull from our first box. Got the one patch card, bunch of rookie cards. That's what you're going to notice a lot in these boxes. A lot of rookie cards. A lot of base rookie cards, though. So we're going to go ahead and put that in our rookie card pile. And also, uh, on the on the comments, we'll put what the average pull from these uh, were and, you know, what you know what you can expect as far as value-wise. So box number two. Let's hope for that... Uh, that signed card or a Herbert or a Burrow, that would be nice. That would be nice. Okay, here we go. Definitely want to bend the card, so you always find that seam where it just comes right off. Like it used to be where they were just wax. Ryan Fitzpatrick. Dolphins. George Kittle from the 49ers. Here's your rookie card, Christian Fulton from the Tennessee Titans. AJ Dillon, rookie card. This is his base card, so now you can see the difference between his next up card and his base card. And then CJ Henderson from the Jaguars.
Tyrod Taylor. I don't think he plays anymore uh, with Herbert. So we'll see. Uh, we got something back there. Let's go ahead and flip it around really quick. Tyler Johnson from the Super Bowl champions. He didn't get to play a whole lot, but he's an up-and-comer for Tom Brady for at least one more year. Freddie Swain from the Seahawks. And here we go. What did we get? Anybody have a guess? I'm upside down. How good is that? We got a Zona Commission, Jalen Samuels from the Pittsburgh Steelers. And our card is a patch card from Jalen Samuels from the Pittsburgh Steelers. <laughs> um, that's not even funny when they do that, but it is a gold version. So it's, it's going to be a little bit more valuable than your standard patch cards. Uh, it is not numbered. So we'll add it to the our patch collection. See, and this is the thing that works me the most. There you go. Dwayne Haskins, now a patriot. We got Golden Tate the third, the Giants. Julio Jones, Falcons. Willie Gay Jr. rookie card on the second place team from the Super Bowl. And Jalen Hurts rookie card. Not a bad rookie card to have. Um, his base, still his base rookie card. Keep in mind, just his base. So don't get too super excited when you get these, but it's still going to. If he uh, becomes a starter, he's still going to be worth something in the future. Okay, we got Drew Brees. Uh, soon to be retired. Who knows? He might come back. Here's the open. I got his rookie card. It's always the open. Drew Locke, <laughs> the guy on the front page. Um, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, not looking at super crazy there. And we got a Hunter Henry Blitz card. I was kind of hoping that was going to be somebody else, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, we got, I'm not even going to say his name. He is a quarterback for never going to play Kansas City Chiefs. <laughs> but he's a rookie card. We'll keep him. And then we have Darnell Mooney for the rookie card for the Bears. So as you can see, as we continue to pull, this is what you're going to get out of your retail packs. Yeah, I mean, again, I mean, if these were your hobby packs, you'd probably... Not even probably. You'd definitely be seeing a lot more parallels. You'd be seeing those really cool, like the the waves or the you know the prisms or the hollows. More autos for sure. I don't think we've gotten one auto from this yet. We've gotten some good cards. We've gotten the memorabilia cards. We just you're not seeing those autos that you would see like you would if you were pulling a hobby. Yeah, hobby packs. They they, they you get what you pay for them when it comes to hobby packs. Uh, you're gonna be super excited when you open up a hobby pack, and we're gonna be doing one of those on on camera. Um, on the playbook, there is a four card hobby pack where we got a wild card, wild, I'm sorry, wild card points card out of that. And we also got a 250 and a 150. And we also got a Chase Young rookie playbook, uh, which we will show next time we open up. We'll do a, a rip. I think that one for the four cards, I want to say it was around 380, around 380, 390. It was, it was definitely right under 400. Um, was not disappointed at all. Just the wild card. If you go on eBay, if you don't want to collect points for Panini, the wild card goes for about 300 on eBay. So, I mean, you would make your money back just on that card. And you don't really want to collect a wild card. You want to want to sell it or use it to buy stuff from Panini's uh, shop. So exactly. Here, so, here we go. Without further ado, let's start with the final box. We got a Dalvin Cook. Great player for the Vikings. Devin Bush the second for the Pittsburgh Steelers. 
And we have a next up, Antonio Gandhi Golden. I have a billion of his cards pulled from <laughs> all types of boxes. Yeah, Great there's player. something about those next up cards. They're just so clean. Yeah, they're. I mean, the 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 gold is what you're looking for, but if you get a silver, I mean, it's still a rookie card. Yeah. Uh, and there there are also some cards that aren't rookie, but it's still a next up card. It's it's one up from a base card. Then you got a cold net, another rookie card. We got that from the last box or two boxes ago. I'm sorry. And we have a Josh Urch. It looks like from the. Going to Patriots rookie card. Really, what you're looking for? Let's be true, Flash. You're looking for the CD Lamb. You're looking for the Burrows, the Herberts, the Tuas. Um, I mean, it's it breaks your heart every time you open one of these and you don't get what you what you're looking for. But you know what? That's part of collecting. That's what makes it fun opening these packs. Oh, we got something in there that looks like points. Uh, Terry. McLaurin, which great running back for the Washington team. Washington used to call Redskins. I can't call them anymore. So this is the Washington football team. And we have a 150 points. Now, remember I was talking about you could pull points. This 150 points, if you don't want it, you can resell it on eBay um, for about roughly, what, $15, $10? Yeah. So if you collect Panini points... Uh, Comment below when maybe we'll make a trade and we'll get it, we'll get you know we'll get it sent off to you. So I'm gonna cover this awesome little thing they put on the front. Oh, we got a next up card next, so that kind of works out. Chase Claypool rookie card. That's gonna be one of your nice pulls out of this box. All Chase's cards are decently priced. Um, pretty cool card. And then we got Lynn Bowden Jr. See, I, I thought it was a Tua. Uh, disappointment. One guy, same team. And then here we go. This is actually a special card. Uh, it's only Adam Troutman. Not to say only, but he's on the Saints. But notice how the border is different than a standard rookie card. So I'll have to take a look at that. He's probably um, on the practice squad or something like that. Um, we'll see. Please pass the resistance when you open these things. Might pull a jersey card out of this. Let's see. Probably pull an auto. That auto would be great. Lamar Jackson. Believe it or not, even his his second year cards, their year cards, um, if we get like a top, cer I'm sorry, a uh, Panini Certify, something like that, they're still going for quite a bit, even though it's not his rookie card. But uh, you got Lamar Jackson. A.J. Brown. Decent player for the Titans. Then we have a CD Lamb rookie card, and it is a orange parallel. That's a nice. That's a nice card. Then you have a rookie card from Clyde edwards alaire Was one of the bright uh, spots for Kansas City in the Super Bowl. His rookie card, still base, probably not worth a ton, but worth keeping. And then we have a Neville Gallimore rookie card from the Dallas Cowboys. And the final pack. Let's hope for a signature. Sometimes with these packs, if you get those points, it doesn't always mean that you're going to get a signature or memorabilia. We could still get it. I've seen it. I've seen it where we've gotten both. It's just rare. Yeah, very rare. We'll see what happens. Though. Carter Minshew. Um, not sure. How, I mean, he got replaced this year. So, I mean, still cool. It's cool, dude. Uh, I like the mutton chops. And we have a Aaron Rodgers. Um, it's his base card. <clears throat> Never know. Kirk Cousins. Um, we'll see if he's still going to be on the Vikings this year. But this is his orange parallel. Then we have another Jonathan Taylor rookie card. Uh, breakout running back for the Colts. Let's see how he does this upcoming year. And then we have a rookie card. Cesar Ruiz rookie card. From the Saints. Looks like the Saints color border there. That's but uh, see that's how you can get fooled just looking at that. So out of this poll, 
Here's all your rookie cards. From the hanger and from the the three boxes, these are all your rookie cards. Here's all your kind of special cards and your you can see the thicker ones in there are your your patch cards. And then here's pretty much all your just call you know put them in a box collect them cards sell them whatever you're gonna do with them cards not worth the time and then um, here's some more orange parallels and uh, some of your next ups that are in there we'll be posting in the comments um, you know what we total value we got from all these cars it's a lot of looking up you know, don't want to do it on camera take all that time up uh, then you got you know your 150 point card which is pretty cool uh, we got a ton of these that we have to uh, figure out what we're gonna do with them and I hope you enjoyed us opening up your box trial for your retail boxes as you can see it's not a it's not the same thing as opening up a hobby box but this hopefully gives you an informed decision on whether or not you want to go out there and wait for them to be on the shelves or if you are willing to pay a little bit extra to, to get them from different people that sell them on different platforms. All in all though, I mean we spent a hundred and roughly hundred and fifty dollars on all of this. The goal besides just collecting is really you know, you want to try to see if you can make your money back, whether you're selling on eBay or whether you're saving them and, and selling later you know how the market goes up and down just kind of like with everything um so i mean once we do all the research if we come up at at least 150 dollars, it's a good day we made our money back off of retail plus these are really great if you're wanting to put together teams if you're a really avid collector and you're wanting to put together your teams if you want a lot of base rookies whatever the case may be this is really the way to go because it's incredibly affordable incredibly affordable and if you were to sell each one of those cards you're looking at probably 50 cents to a dollar a card if you sold all of them you'd, you'd make your money back if that's really what your end game was um these will probably put away in a box and save for our kids so all in all a good day now before we finish here i'm going to show you what we're going to do on our next box pool we're going to be doing this heritage box we got this from Target. Uh, really cool set. Really, really cool set. Uh, we pulled some crazy autographs out of this of this set and one send away. Uh, this is actually a hobby box from Target. Uh, this box goes for about one hundred and twenty dollars. Um, definitely worth if you if you if you can do it. It's a high number box, which is kind of cool. Um, twenty four packs, nine cards per pack. Um, if you get a tr signed trout in there, you know, uh, from 2020, you know, you got your Kuna in there and, uh, your Nikos and a bunch of other stars. Um, it's cool. This, this one has a guarantee, I think, on it too. It does have a guarantee. One real autograph card in this box. Uh, if it's a trout, you can jump up and down, go get a PSA and pay for your hobby for about a year. Um, but you know, what's funny is, uh, age is six and up. Uh, most of the people I see grabbing these boxes are not six. Uh, they're usually about 60. <laughs> so um, hopefully when we open this up, we can give you guys a good show and you can see if you would be interested in picking up one of these boxes from your local hobby shop or if you're lucky enough from a Target or a Walmart. Thanks for watching and have a good night.